Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be presenting the Velasca series from Gadja. The Velasca has two models, the regular Velasca and then the Velasca Prestige. And the difference between these two is the milk frothing capabilities. The regular Velasca has a steam wand, so you would froth milk manually using a milk pitcher. And the Prestige has a milk container, and it's a one-touch cappuccino machine. So it does your milk and your coffee all at the touch of a single button. They also have slightly different finishes. The Velasca is black, whereas the Prestige has this stainless steel facade at the front. To demonstrate these machines, I'm going to make a few sets of drinks, both espresso and milk-based drinks. And when we make the milk-based drinks, I'll show you how the uh, automatic uh, froth or the container compares to the standard wand, and you can see which one is best for you. The way you interact with the machines is essentially the same. So you have your screen here, and the first thing that you'll see is the strength setting. There's five beans here, and that represents extra mild, mild, normal, strong, and extra strong. So the higher the setting, the more coffee is going to be ground, and the stronger your coffee is going to be as a result. Uh, there's also a bypass doser on the top of the machine right here, and this is if you want to use a different blend of coffee. You would put ground coffee in there, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use that a little later. On both machines, you have your coffee buttons on the left. Uh, there's two buttons, Espresso and Espresso Lungo. These can be programmed to whatever you like, and the way you program it is you hold the button in, you wait for the machine to grind, and then once you have enough coffee in your cup, you let it go, and it will remember it for the next time. And you can program your short and your long uh, to your own taste. Uh, the button below that is the uh, strength button. So this is how you change the strength setting from one to five beans, and also to the bypass. That scoop represents the bypass doser. On the right hand side of the menu you have your steam function so you press this button to begin steaming. Below that is hot water if you want to get hot water for a tea or for an americano. Also comes out of the steam wand. Uh, and in comparison the Velasca Prestige has a few extra buttons you'll notice. Uh, it has the cappuccino and the milk froth button. So the cappuccino is the button you program to get coffee with milk. And milk froth just gives you uh, frothy milk if you want to add it to a coffee or if you want to make a hot chocolate or something like that. There's also a special drinks button and here you'll find hot water and a drink that they call baby cappuccino which is uh, unusual but uh, nonetheless there. First I'm going to make a shot of espresso and I'm going to do it on both machines because uh, it's exactly the same. Uh, they both have adjustable spouts so I'm going to move the spout uh, a little bit lower because this is a small cup. And I'm just going to press the espresso button. Uh, both machines right now are set to five beans so they're grinding the same amount of coffee uh, and they'll begin extracting espresso momentarily. So I did this at the same time just to show that the coffee side of things is the same on both machines. Now they didn't finish at the exact same time only because they may be programmed a little bit differently. This one seems to be programmed much longer than, than the Prestige. But you see it's a nice shot, nice crema, good color, great taste. Uh, the next drink I'm going to show you is a cafe crema. Cafe crema is essentially a long extraction similar to a cup of regular drip coffee. And I'm just going to get these started. And what I did is I pressed the long button, the espresso long button twice. So uh, you can do that with the espresso button as well. The machine grinds, extracts, and then it'll grind and extract again. And I did that for the reason that this is a large cup and doing a, a 10 ounces of water through that much coffee would make the coffee a little weak for my taste. So I preferred a little stronger, so I pressed it twice. And again, uh, whether you get the Velasca or the Velasca Prestige, uh, this side of things is identical. The brew group is the same and the way it extracts the coffee is the same. So the Prestige is now grinding for the second time. It finished the first uh, drink and now it's going to do it one more time. And the regular Velasca has also begun its second process. Now I'll mention that super automatic machines like this are a great alternative to single serve pods. 
uh, a lot of people uh, have begun to become sensitive to the waste of pods and also the cost. A machine like this grinds, doses, tamps and extracts your coffee all the, uh, at the touch of a button so the coffee is fresher and less expensive and better for the environment. So you can see the coffees are finished and a coffee like this is more similar to a regular drip cup of coffee and it's ready to enjoy. And next, I'd just like to demonstrate how to use the bypass doser. Bypass doser allows you to use a different blend, so I'm just going to use the scoop that comes with the machine, nice and level, and I put my coffee into the bypass doser here. Kind of just scoop it in there because I spilt it a little bit. And on the machine, I'm going to change the strength setting to the scoop, and that's the bypass, and press my espresso button, and the machine does the rest. This is good if you want to have a different coffee, maybe flavored or a decaf coffee. I do not recommend putting flavored beans into any super automatic machine. The coffee extracts exactly the same as if it was pre-ground, uh, or I beg your pardon, as if it was ground from the grinder, uh, and the setting is the same. So whatever you have a program to will be the same whether you're using uh, whole beans or whether you're using pre-ground. So finally, I'm going to show you the milk uh, functionality of these machines. I'm going to make a cappuccino. The Velasca Prestige, I'm just going to press the cappuccino button. It's going to do everything on its own. Uh, and on the regular Velasca, I'm going to be frothing using the steam wand. And then I'll add my milk to my espresso. So I'll press the cappuccino button here. And on the Velasca, I press the steam button. And the machine will raise the temperature to steaming temperature, which takes a few seconds. And then I'll froth my milk. The time it takes is similar across both because both machines have a single thermoblock, so they have to raise the temperature to steaming temperature. And with the Panarello wand, uh, frothing is very, very simple. You basically just hold the pitcher in place. And the trick is when the pitcher becomes too hot to hold, uh, that's generally where you want to stop. Oops, I even burnt myself a little bit there. And then I'm just going to give my wand a wipe, make my espresso, and then I'll add the milk. So the Prestige is finished. You can see that's a nice one-touch cappuccino. It's done and ready to drink. And on the Velasca side, I'll be ready in just a moment. And here I just add the milk. And my cappuccino is ready. Now, uh, certainly you'll notice that my drinks look a little bit different. And the reason for that was on the Velasca side, when I was steaming the milk, I added the coffee first and I added milk to coffee. If I uh, put the milk in first and then the espresso afterwards, it would look similar to this. Uh, this type of drink is actually, it's a nice presentation, but in order to drink it, I, I would probably mix this up to, to, to get a full flavor, to get the milk mixed in with the espresso. Gadget is one of the oldest and most established brands in home espresso. They're renowned for their European-made quality and reliability. Uh, the Velasca series is a great choice if you want to make cafe-style drinks at home. The main difference between these machines is really the milk functionality. If you like to have cappuccinos and lattes, I would suggest going with the Prestige. Also, if you like the added refinement to the look, the stainless steel facade and also the stainless steel accents at the top of the machine. But either machine will make great drinks. If you have any questions about which machine to choose or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.